of this game, I'm assuming that the third period is probably one of the best we've seen this game play. Yeah, I'd say that. I, I thought the second period um, we built a game. Um, we just didn't play with enough emotion probably to start. Um, and they came out flying, obviously got us on our heels with a couple power play goals. Um, but as you can see, we're, we're growing together. We stayed with it. Our power play gets us a couple back. We kill a couple. And then, um, you know, that Castellic shift there in the second period, I think, just elevates the whole group. What can you say about the first line's performance, Shane Pinto's line's performance in the third in particular? They just went to work. They stopped on every puck. They put pucks in. They, they played the right way. They grinded the other team down. We know that Carlson and those guys are going to jump in the rush. Uh, and we got to make them defend, and we wanted to make them defend, and I thought those guys did a great job. Well, not very good, but um, you know, but it's a different team here, and there's and there's more maturity, and they're able to be more composed, and they're able to turn it up another gear. And clearly, we weren't at the gear we wanted to be, but hey, give the give that dressing room credit. Those guys, um, you know, what they did is got themselves ready for the second and third, and and they came out and gave us an effort. Yes, we, we, we want to give you no time and we want to play fast. And I thought in the first period we were, we were slow. We just brought it back and played slow and allowed them to be above us. In the second and third, we just turned it up and, and, and stayed on you. When they kicked it back, we stayed on you. And that's the way exactly uh, the way we want to play. Absolutely. I, I, I think I've made this, uh, talked about this lots. I was an extra in Colorado there years ago. And I think Milan Hayduk, who was one of their best scorers, was like seven or eight games without one. And he goes and gets an empty netter and then just took off from there. I think he finished top five in the league or whatever it is. He can score. And, and uh, you know, he finds the net tonight, and, and I would assume that's going to open it up for him. Yeah, for sure. I didn't like the hit. I didn't like that. Uh, you know he gets cut like that, but I, I, that woke us up. I, that that after that, I mean the bench was was fired up. They care about him. They, you know, and then our, our so-called fourth line went out there and and uh, and did what they had to do. Yeah, hundred percent. And 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 they get us two goals. They scored two. They get us two. And that's exactly what it is. And, and you know, and and give our penalty kill credit for gathering themselves after giving up two. Um, you know, five seconds going to five on three. Uh, but we've got that kind of talent, and, and that's what has to happen for us to win games. He's playing with a lot of detail, playing inside the dots, finding open areas, uh, and, he, and he's playing hard defensively. And when he plays like that, and he, the way he can carry the puck up the ice, you know, he was in all kinds of scoring chances there tonight. We'll look at the tape in the morning, but he scores one, and he was everywhere. Yeah, for sure. It comes off real quick. Um, you know, he doesn't stick handle. He just, he, he's, he's, it's gone before it gets there. Well, I, I, I think, I think he wants to contribute a little more offensively clearly, but he's going to get all his offense from working. We've got guys, you know, that can make plays in traffic and tight spaces. He's a guy that's going to create turnovers and grind you down. And get you with multiple opportunities, and that's what he did. Huge, huge. We got two forwards trapped behind the net, you know, and we don't want that. Um, but give them, they make plays. And, and Forzy, look, you know, he was himself there tonight.